finally, after almost more than a year of hearing about this nonsense in Konami from Hideo Kojima, and this childish, just absolute spitefulness towards them by Konami. And it's just, it really started wearing on the community, I guess, the gaming community, I should say, because when Metal Gear Solid was coming out, that's all you heard about. How Konami was a shitty place to work at, and how it was uh, just a shitty place in general to be in. And then at the Game Awards, he was banned from talking because he was still under contract with Konami. So Konami went out of the way to basically not to make his life a living hell, because obviously still counting his money from all the other games he made, but just to go out of the way to be annoying. Just to go out of the way to to just belittle him. It's such a disgraceful thing. I mean yeah, Jeff Keeley out of all people stick up for him. So, I mean uh, it tells you just what Konami's all about nowadays. You know, dry humping their pachinko machines, they don't I'm not gonna say they don't give a shit about AAA development, but they're not gonna probably do multiple projects aside from PES or the next Metal Gear with Akajima. It's gonna be a whole new staff, most likely since all of them went with him to Kojima Productions, which has strangely been renamed Kojima Productions. I don't know what the name was? Yeah, whatever. But it's a beautiful thing to hear about his partnership with Sony. He's gonna be allowed to do whatever the hell he wants. You know? Creative freedom, it's gotta be a beautiful thing for him now. And I haven't really played Metal Gear Solid 5, I've just heard things I don't like, like no boss fights. That's really the only thing I've heard that I've heard. No, no boss fights. I don't know if that had to do with Konami just being a pain in his ass, or if that was just a decision he chose to do, which I, I can't really think that he chose to do it because there's always been boss fights, at least in the Metal Gear Solid games. But, you know, I, we know for a fact that he wanted to pretty much stop at Metal Gear 3, I think. Even Metal Gear Solid 4, he was going to be the last one, but Konami kept forcing him to do these games because they made a crap load of money and he was contractually obligated to do what the hell they wanted. So, they just had him on a leash. Had him on a leash until December 15th, 2013. And I wonder what he did on that day. Because him and Sony probably worked out this deal days beforehand, they just didn't talk about it since he was still in the contract with Konami, but. For them to finally announce it and then to see just how happy Andrew House was. And uh, just to clarify, this deal is supposedly a, the console exclusive and it's supposed to release later on PC. But everybody knows it's going to sell a show on PS4. And they're just trying to make extra money on the PC. But by the time the game releases, you figure 2018, maybe late 2017, the install base for PlayStation is going to be so large. Um, they're going to make so much money. It's just going to be. It's a great business deal all around for both of them. You know? I mean, where else is he going to go? You gotta, you gotta think about it, Nintendo. It's not gonna sell anything on that. Microsoft. Please tell me you speak English. I'm Detective Carter. Do you speak any English? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I cannot believe this shit. Yeah, one company left, and that's the group with the most market share right now, and where his games sell the most. If I'm not mistaken, Metal Gear Solid 5 sold almost six times as much on PS4 than Xbox One, so I'm not gonna bring up any fanboy shit about it because people on Xbox only buy one or two games, so from my point of view, they shouldn't care, and if they do, they're just trying to be extra bitter and extra annoying and extra whatever the fuck they've been doing the past two generations, which is generally just being a pain in the end, so. I'm not even going to include them in the discussion, because even if it were to come out for that system, they wouldn't mind anyway. And for Kojima to make it exclusive, that would just be absolute nonsense. I just saw how it turned out with Tomb Raider. Although that deal was signed before the generation even started. That's just... You know, that fan base is pretty one-dimensional. Creativity and variety, that's, that's where PlayStation lives and dies. That's where they breathe. And... I just can't wait for this game to come out. It's gotta be something that's probably been in his brain 
Lachlan and Opal, whatever the fuck, for years and years, and he's done. Besides Metal Gear, he's done. Pretty sure the Snatcher came out first, and then Police Knocks in the mid 90s. And who knows what other crap he's got up his sleeve. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Zone of the Enders. I thought that was okay, I wasn't really overly impressed by it. You know, I'm a Metal Gear Solid fanboy. And I still gotta try Metal Gear Solid 5, so that's, that's something else for me to kind of look forward to over this uh, holiday. But it, it finally happened. He's gone from Konami. He's independent. He can do whatever the hell he wants. He can. He can I mean, it's just freedom, man. It's got to be such a relief for him after being, I think, more than a decade in Konami, right? Maybe close to 20 years. I'm not sure. Somebody could just correct me on that. But this game, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be something worth. I can't wait to see. I mean, you know, I'm wondering when they're gonna unveil it. Probably gonna talk about it more at E3 than slip little details along the way during the year. <clears throat> at a, I guess different press conferences or just maybe in general, who the hell knows? He operates in mysterious and ninja-esque ways. And that's just who he is. And I just can't. I personally cannot wait for this game to come out. But until then, we're gonna have a crap load of games to tie this over. And, uh, in the next week or a um, couple days, I'm gonna try to put up a most anticipated games list. Um, that's just for me personally. You guys are throwing stuff in there. Feel free to go right ahead. But I'm gonna just put up games that I'm personally looking forward to. That I'm pretty sure are gonna be highly uh, rated and critically acclaimed. So that's where we're gonna go with the next video. Till then, guys, be safe. I'll see you in the next video.